二零二二年第一條 MC 題目啦，就係講翻物質嘅傳遞嘅。呢條題目咧就 show 翻啦 ，X、Y、Z 三款嘅物質啦，佢穿越一個細胞膜嘅不同嘅途徑。咁呢條題目咧就叫我哋做配對嘅，就將唔同嘅物質啦，同埋佢哋穿越咗嗰個細胞膜嘅相應嘅辦法，做翻一個配對。咁呢條題目啦，自不然就考翻我哋啦，有關於物質傳遞啦，尤其是係穿越咗個細胞膜啦。咁細胞膜有咩嘅特性啊？第一個要考翻我哋嘅就係差異滲透啦 ，differentially permeable 啦。然之後咧就入題目咯喎，咁我哋咧就要去知道翻 x、y、z 呢三款嘅物質啦，佢哋穿越嗰個細胞膜有啲咩嘅特別咯？你會見得到啦 ，x 咧就直接穿越咗個細胞膜嘅。而 Y 同埋 Z 咧，佢哋都要穿越咗個載體嘅蛋白質啦，同埋通道嘅蛋白質嘅。咁當中啦，就有少少嘅概念，大家要留意翻啦。膜蛋白啦，同埋啦個濃度階梯啦。咁你睇一睇咯，其實 X、Y、Z 咧，佢哋分別啦就係 X 同埋 Z 咧，都係一個高濃度去低濃度，都係順住個濃度階梯咧而行嘅。但係咧喺呢個 Y 呢一樣物質咧。佢就係逆向個濃度階梯啦，咁自不然咧都應該係屬於主動運輸咯喎。然之後啦，呢條題目最緊要嘅概念咧，你就要知道究竟嗰樣嘅物質能唔能夠直接地穿過咗個細胞膜嘅鄰支雙層啦。咁啊，因為咧，只要你有咗呢個答案嘅話咧，其實你已經可以知得到究竟 X、Y、Z。嘅 x 係啲乜嘢啦？因為得佢咧係能夠直接穿過咗個鄰支雙層嘅啫。咁啊，因為要直接穿過鄰支雙層咧，都係啲條件嘅，就係、是、嗰個分子要細粒，同埋一個冇極性、非極性嘅情況。但係啦，葡萄糖同埋水分咧，佢哋都係有極性。而兼且啦，葡萄糖咧仲要大粒一啲嘅添，相比起氧氣同埋水分子。咁所以啦，水分子同埋呢個葡萄糖嘅分子咧，由於起碼有極性啦，所以啦，佢哋需需要一個載體嘅蛋白質同埋一個通道嘅蛋白質。咁當然啦，而家答案已經知道咗咁就係啦，因為 X 一定係氧氣啊嘛，咁所以答案一定係 A 噶啦。咁但係 Y 同埋 Z 究竟點解會咁樣配置咧？咁咪俾多一個概念大家啦。咁啊，因為 Z 嘅呢一種物質咧，佢係順住個濃度階梯向下走嘅。咁自不然啊，佢就係一個不需要能量嘅過程啊。咁不需要能量嘅過程啦，其實自不然咧就係有關於滲透。滲透就係一款唔需要能量參與一個被動一啲嘅過程啦。咁所以 set 咧就一定係水啦，而剩低嘅就一定係葡萄糖啦。好啦，葡萄糖係咪一定要行主動運輸咧？其實唔一定，葡萄糖嘅運送咧。都可以透過擴散嘅，但係啦，呢度今次講到明係由低濃度去到高濃度嘅話咧，個情況就有如我哋嘅小腸，我哋將一二三四，我哋想將所有嘅葡萄糖都吸曬入去個絨毛入面嘅微血管入面，去進行吸收作用啊嘛，去進行食物嘅吸收啊嘛。咁今次呢個情況咧，正正就有如吸收嘅情況啦。咁過往啦，都有唔少嘅 MC 呢係講返於擴散啊、滲透啊、細胞運輸啊，甚至乎呢係關啲膜嘅蛋白事嘅。嗱，呢四個 process 呢，擴散、滲透、主動運輸、吞噬作用呢，大家一定要温温書咯喎。Two two two question one is about the movement of substance across the cell membrane. So you can see that in this diagram, it shows three different rates by which substance pass through the cell membrane. We have X, Y, and Z. And this question asks us to do the matching. We need to match the substance with their corresponding passing through the cell membrane. So we need to talk about the movement, right? So the concept checking is about the movement of substance across the cell membrane. First of all, you need to recall the nature of the cell membrane, which is differentially permeable. Something can pass through, and something cannot pass through. And then we need to distinguish the movement of substance across the cell membrane. So I would like to tell you about the concentration gradient first. So you can see that for X, Y, Z, these three molecules. So for the X and Z, so they travel from the higher concentration to the lower concentration. Therefore, they are traveling along 
the concentration gradient. However, for the molecule Y, you can see that they are moving from the low concentration to the high concentration, which is against the concentration gradient. Therefore, it should be the active transport. And for this question, the critical concept is that you need to ask yourself which substance can or cannot pass through the phospholipid bilayer directly. And then you can observe that only molecule X they can pass through the bilayer. You can see that only substance X they can pass through the phospholipid bilayer directly. So we need to recall any criteria for the substance to pass through the phospholipid bilayer directly. They should be something small and non-polar. So for the glucose and water molecules, because they are polar by themselves, therefore they cannot pass through the phospholipid bilayer. Therefore, we can confirm the answer that molecule X, it must be the oxygen, and the overall answer must be A. So how can we distinguish Y and Z? So how can we confirm that substance Y, it must be the glucose, and the substance X, it must be the water? So you can see that for the substance Z, from the high concentration to lower concentration, which is say, along the concentration gradient. Therefore, it checks us another critical concept is about the osmosis, which is, a, which is a passive process. No energy is required. Therefore, the water molecules, they are traveling along the water potential gradient from a region of higher water potential to the region of lower water potential. So that's why we can confirm Z is the water. And for molecule Y, why it is the glucose because we can see that they are being transported against the concentration gradient from low concentration to high concentration so this concept is just like in the food absorption the villi they perform the active transport to absorb all the glucose molecules to the blood capillaries so you can refer to MC in the past years, it's about the simple diffusion and the osmosis and the membrane protein. So all those topics, so you can watch the video and do revision.